Hop in. Hey, Mac, where you headed? All right. Uh, this is nice. I like this. You don't have to tell them anything. You just have a nice little map. Everything's clickable. This looks like a track from RC Pro-Am or Super Sprint or, you know, some RC car track I had when I was a kid. I digress. Guano Bell. Can we go to Guano Bell? Nope. Let's go to the come and go. Get ourselves some. <laughs> okay. Is this a one way road? Interesting. Interesting That'll be one. 16 bucks, please. $16? Thanks, kid. Lord. Bye. Hey, another uh, person. Looks like a replicant hunter. I had to guess. Oh, very nice. You click on your mother with that mouth. You wouldn't happen to be fixed for wine, would you? Nope. All right. Be that way. Maybe the come and go will have some. Hold on, my friend. What is that? Your appendix? I don't know what that means. I don't know how to take that. Don't be weird when I click my zipper icon on you. Welcome to the come and go. Please keep your hands where I can see them. Let's see. Do they got oh more banaka? How we doing on our banaka? Lip stirring industry strength. Breath spray. Let's shoot some more right now, actually. Choo, choo, choo. Ah. ah Peter Parker condoms. Yes, please. I'll actually get to hear the line, one of my favorite lines of all time. We are open 24 hours for all your unsavory needs. I need, uh, I'm trying to be discreet here, but... We have no public bathrooms. If you absolutely must, please go in the alley, like everyone else. Oh, I already went twice. Poople! Ass master right next to Poople. We keep our birth control devices discreetly hidden behind the counter. If you tap gently on the sign, I will know what you want. Uh, this way, our customers need never feel self-conscious or embarrassed. I don't think Larry's ever felt self-conscious or embarrassed, but I'll play your game. Let us be discreet about this. I understand you are interested in our birth control devices. A little bit. Yes, I'd like one of your finest prophylaxatives. <laughs> we have all manner of lovers for your stooping pleasure. Lovers. What lover are you preferring? America's number one lover. I just didn't understand the first time. Uh, <laughs> aluminum foil. Hmm, that sounds effective. Steel belted radial seems even more effective. Might take the skin off, but... I am curious. I don't know, it might be fun hearing the sounds. What length would you like? There is about all the, the, the sensory, you know, the full experience length. Um, let's see, I was being complimentary to, uh, let's say Vienna sausage. What girth are you requiring? Long and thin, slip right in. <laughs> what texture would you like? <laughs> texture, ribbed, dimpled, pockmarked, or sharpie. Uh, what for? Or sharpe. Would you like? Sharpe. Sharpe sounds nice, actually. It's for her pleasure. Faux finish, would you like? Wood grain, brushed aluminum, snake skin, or semi gloss? God, it's like doing taxes. Give me the snake skin, obviously. What excess capacity do you require? Oh, yeah, the the reservoir tip. Grandiose term. I forget which comedian that was back in the 90s. Give me the Cincinnati fire odes. I got a feeling. What lubrication would you like? Lubrication? Spermicidal. That would be responsible. Fungicidal? I mean, that might help out. All involved. Caffeinated? I don't know. I guess you can get some stuff done with the rest of your day if you get with that one. An extra picante. Uh, you know what? What a Let's Burn with Briggins tie in. I'll go what with that. What sort of scent would you like? Good lord. Musk, Pine Fresh, Old Library, or Chicken. 
so I gotta go old library. Seriously? I feel like that's... Thank you. Hey, everybody! This perv just bought a aluminum foil, Vienna sausage, spaghettini girth, sharpe, snakeskin, Cincinnati fire hose capacity, extra picante, <laughs> old library scented lover. What a perfect! Where were those people? I bought three of them, thank you. Wait, no. Did I only buy one? There it is. They're more fun to use and to look at. Sure words. Alright. Call this Larry 2. The Larry that has a condom that practices safe sex. In theory, we haven't used it yet. Angry Broads! Can I play this? Nice! What a pervert. You love this game. Alright, how do I do this? You can't do anything with this machine. It seems to be oh. stuck in permanent demo mode. I won't hold that against it. That's fine. I just like the gag. And what do we got here? Is this Astro Chicken? What is this? Another slot machine? Oh, wow. Slot machines all over this town. I expect... Oh, nice. Nothing less and nothing more from Lost Wages, Nevada. Alright, what else? Should we get our... Is this this month's Ass Master? You take the biggins, the most interesting magazine of the bunch. Yeah, baby! I suppose so. It depends what you're into. Queso beer! Here's our boxed wine. Harvey Steen wine. I don't like it as much as Napa Valley Outhouse, but it is ebullient and syrupy. Yeah, baby! That, uh, Harvey Steen wine. <laughs> that didn't age very well. I can't drink soda. The bubbles go right to the top of my cranium. I mean, literally, I have a defect. Okay, say no more. I can't. My doctor says too much caffeine stimulates my libido. But he's cool with you getting a box of wine. <laughs> That's fine. Hands off! Store employees and thieves only. We're no thiefy. Can I get a hot dog? Yes, you could eat that hot dog, or you could just throw it in the toilet and save yourself 45 minutes. You ate rancid shrimp out of a dumpster like 20 minutes ago, Larry. Don't act like you have standards. Alright. I just saved, so... I... Don't see any way that this guy is gonna notice if I walk out of here without paying. Note all of the cameras at the top of the screen. We gotta try, right? Wait just a minute, Mr. Shoplifter. Come over here right this moment. No. I'd rather leave without pay. Oh. Does this place have a... Uh... Freeze! My aim is improving. Yay for me! This Larry, one. you've always said that shoplifters deserve to be put out of their misery. Man, dead and a hypocrite. Fine, I'll pay for the lubber. Lord, can I buy one more? How are you enjoying your lubber, sir? I'm not. Yet. Well, do not fail to wear it if you happen to co-mingle with one of the local working girls. They are highly contagious. Thank you. You're welcome. An undiseased customer is a repeat customer. Although we Spoken. have many repeat diseased customers as well. Spoken like a man who knows. Forty-five dollars for a box of wine. Thank you. Now please leave. There is no loitering. The latest biggins and one lubber? I didn't even buy any banaka. Man, this is not 1987 prices, that's for sure. Inflation has hit lost wages hard. <sighs> Alright. So what do we got in our pants right now? We got Ken sent me. Why do why is it in blood? Why is it in blood? Spent a penny a piece on these. Yeah. 72446. Is that Aloe's birthday, perhaps? Yeah, baby. Not sure what that is. Is that a number? Can I call? You pick this thing must be set to Nice. Nope. I'm sorry. 
sorry, but you have reached a number that is disconnected or no longer in service. Please hang up and dial again. This is a recording. 911. Naturally, someone has already stolen the rectangle of acetate that would ordinarily cover this paper. Huh. Where's the beef? Been here for a good time. Call 555 1234. Okay. I'm sorry. I like a good time. Thank you for calling the 555-1234 Hot to Trot chat line. Oh. Now, swinging singles like you can chat one-on-one -on -one with other swinging singles. Also like you. There's nothing hotter than guys who spend their Saturday nights at home, paying $2.99 a minute to make awkward <laughs> small talk with invisible strangers. Most of whom are other guys. <laughs> You're also invited to call our psychic legal hotline. Press 2 now to get real legal advice from a psychic. Or press 3 now to get psychic readings from a real lawyer. Or press 4 now to connect with our tractor trailer trekking institute. Find out how you can earn fast money driving big rigs for 48 hours <laughs> straight on nothing but coffee and Slim Jims. Uh, All lines are down for me. Larry can't drink coffee. Please try again later. I don't know Thank how he is on Slim Jims. All right, we'll try again later. SG and RC? Anyone recognize these? Now believed extinct, the last payphone will be shot and killed in 2012 while attempting to rob a liquor store in Conshohocken, oh. PA. Its dying words will be, I just wanted to call information one last time. Oh, I do miss payphones. Even though they're some of the least hygienic things you can put to your face. Anyone recognize now believe it's done. All right. Fun. All right. I have your boxed wine, sir. Cost me a pretty penny. Don't play in this. You have nothing appropriate. You have nothing. Come on. Is he going to ask me again? Do you need any help? Well, yeah. My name's Roddy Contiki. Look, you don't nice need name. help. That's a great name. That is a good name. Anyway, I'm in a 12-step program. Uh -huh. I try never to be more than 12 steps from a liquor store. What's that voice? Like that? I made that up. Anyway, nobody will sell me anything anymore, if you know what I mean. So if you happen to come across any semi-fine fermented beverages, I'd reward any generosity you'd care to show. Okay. I'll remember that, Mr. Contiki. You will? Huh. I didn't give you enough credit. But I do have a box of wine. We're hooking up the alcoholics in this town. I like that face. Oh, look. Harvey Steen wine. You shouldn't have. Thanks for thinking of me. You're more than welcome. Hmm. Syrupy. And reminiscent of a Manischewitz cream red Concord. I think I'll share this with my friend Chris. Maybe you know the guy. Kind of this tall, about this wide, brownish hair. I don't think I know him. Used to be a cabin boy. Lives next to the toilet oh, yeah. and lefties. Yeah. Uh, yeah, maybe. Game some anyway, whiskey. Anyway, here's a thank you from me to you. What is it? Is that a pepper? What is that? Pickle? One of my prized possessions that I don't want. Oh. A genuine French army knife. Wow, thanks. I wouldn't Neighbor count on it in a fight, if you know what I mean. Neighbor thanks here. again. So I can't take that guy behind lefties, is what you're saying? He deserves some payback for killing me that one time. All right. I love that achievement, though, enabler of the year. We are hooking up all the alcohols. All right, we might need to go to the casino. I want to go hey, back. Bud, where are we going? I want to go back and use my condom, but let's go to Comedy Bladder. We go to the Comedy Club. That's new. So we can't actually go there. Caesar's Phallus. Let's try to make some money. Lucky 21, pal. Fork it over. 
Richard Nixon 72 now more than ever. Here you are, my man. Thanks, kid. Eat me in the license plate right there. What is up with this cat? Have we got anything at once by now? No? I don't think so. If I were a cat, I wouldn't want any of those possessions. Let's head inside. Let's make some money. Let's see, what do we got? Nice diverse group of gamblers, by the way. All kinds. Hey. Hey, baby. Are you from the Caribbean? No, why? Cause you're making me crazy. Oh, that's cute. Uh, Have you made a pun using the name of a country? Let me see if I can do that. Your attempt to pick me up is rail pathetic. It makes me think you don't have a Bahrain in your head. That's, uh, pretty good. Now leave me alone, turkey. Wow. Three for three. She's way too clever for us, Larry. Don't want to get to you. Forget it, Larry. It's lost wages. All right. Love me some blackjack. That's not one of the buttons that make rules of the house. The only rule of the house is to save often and early, especially when you're about to drop some in-game money on some virtual blackjack. Deal. Ooh, double down. I don't have the money for it. Um. All right. Hit me. 18. 18's good. 18 versus 18. All right. I'm going not all in. I gotta save a dollar. Or two dollars in this case. 11 again? Yes! You get bad vibes from that machine. Listen to the sound of my voice, Larry. You want to play this machine. Okay, that, that's fine. Let's, let's go again. Let's keep betting all of it, right? We got the save. Oh, does it go up by 10 at that point? That's weird. Eh, yeah, let's go all in. Eight. Seventeen. No! Is there like a death sequence for having no money? No? Just lost the game. Don't think you can do anything else with no money. Certainly can't ride around in the cab. Maybe this time. Oh, yeah. Well, okay. Really? Sweet. All right. I'm gonna max, not one of max this thing out in no time at this rate. 14, 17. No! That's not Man, I wish I had this feature in real life when it came to, well, everything really, but especially gambling. Push. Jeez. That's not. Win some, you lose some, right? Five slash fifteen. Twenty-one. Really. That's. You get back. Like a shortcut for loading. Yes, I have no money, obviously. That's not. Like, I know I'm cheating. <laughs> I feel like they're cheating, too. I know it's heavily stacked in the. Jeez. It's like a blackjack. I just. Alright, there we go. I think it might. You get back. It might limit me to a thousand dollars, but I could be wrong. No, guess not. I don't think we have much need for more than a thousand dollars, but let's go one more time. We can buy love at this rate. <laughs> Da -da 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 -da. 
All right, I'm done. $2,000. Lucky Larry Laffer. I bet you want to talk to me now. Hey, baby. You no. Because I'm your... That's now leave turkey. But I have $2,000. You don't owe any money. All right, maybe she's a gold so, digger. So, uh, hiya, baby. I hope you own a black cat, because I'd like to get familiar with you. Wow. I've never heard that one before. That is really cool. Really? Thank you. Then let's blow this pop stand and take this party downside. I can't. The Lost Wages basketball team is coming over later, and I promised I'd do them first. They're Maybe not gonna know. You're cute in a really poxy Weber kind of way. Oh, you mean Anson Williams? Happy Who's Days? That? The guy who plays Potsy Weber? Happy what Days. You, mean, you really can pick them, can't you, Larry? I don't know. She seems just our type, actually. All right. Yeah, I like this uh, Packers fan just gawking. Any luck on that machine? Yes. All bad. If I wasn't on the casino's board of directors, I probably wouldn't even bother playing. I feel like I know what voice they're trying to do. Let's do a... Uh, well, I guess we've been doing slots all over town. Is there any poker? Spin. No, I don't. One two thousand dollars. Uh, maybe your moves will work on her. She's probably heard your lines. Hello, ma'am. How are the slots treating you today? Get bent, loser. Excuse me. Did I say something to offend you? Cram it. Am I disturbing your rhythm or something? Yes. And your breath smells like a sear and died in your mouth. And you tried to cover up the rotten stink with lemon pledge. You're fun. <laughs> Does that mean I need more lemon pledge? Now she give me her number. Ah. Hello, ma'am. Get bent. Excuse me. Cram it. Am I? Yes. All you're right. Fun. Well, whatever. Maybe this guy. You don't look like you're having much fun. I know. I should go back to my regular job. What's your regular job? I sell software. Are I'm just in lost wages to try. Are to you find me your from love. the future? Tell me about it. I just did. You give the man a good hearty <laughs> whiff. Hmm. What is that? Probably my breath freshener. Sometimes I worry that I use too much. Am I using too much? No. You're using the perfect amount. Thanks. Future so you, Larry? Way, your breath smells great. It's a pleasure to speak to someone who really cares about their breath. I agree. Yeah. Yeah! Get a room, you two. Can I ask you a question, Future Larry? Did you ever make it to Uranus? Was there ever a Leisure Suit Larry 8? You approach the dude and sniff surreptitiously oh, a few I was times. Sniff. Sorry, man. I don't have any of that stuff on me. Stuff? So, like, are you some sort of counterculture type? Rebelling against injustice by symbolically giving the man the finger with your freakish hairstyle? Nah, I just like pissing off my mom. It's not the man, the mom. That's cool. Larry Dig. What else we got going on here? Now that's a fancy elevator. Whoa. It looks sleek and brand new. This is an upgrade right here. A bikini-clad diver is playing with Mr. Wiggles, oh. occasionally grabbing his dorsal fin and going for a ride. You find yourself greatly envying the whale, a feeling wholly unfamiliar to you. Mr. Wiggles. Mr. Wiggles is the only teenage sperm whale currently living in Lost Wages. And don't think he doesn't know it. He's been acting like a self-entitled <laughs> jerk for months. It would be a sperm whale. What? It's some sort of laminated piece of paper. Only important things get laminated. No, it's mine. You take the piece of paper. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby, indeed. What we got this time? There's my big... Have I not looked at my biggins yet? Full of helpful information. True Tales of Thievery talks about the bread breaking your part. Bungee cords to convenient fire escapes. Daring. The do-it-yourself section is how you can make your own perfume with flowers and alcohol. Okay. Also mentions the addition of whale vomit. Ah, maybe Mr. Uh, yeah, will help us out. Going for a cat light. All right. So there is some additional content. Additional puzzles. Cool. Are there any pictures? Description cards. I don't see 
see it, but okay. Alright, so what is this? Lost Wages Finest. Oh, the Disco Tech. Nice. Alright, we'll go to the dance club. Oh, man. Let's get some non dumpster food. I don't want to get too fancy. Welcome to Chef Jeff's American Tavern Bar and Grill with the all day, all night buffet. Definitely not too TV fancy. Chef Jeff Hillary's first Lost Wages restaurant features many of the signature dishes from his popular program. Oh, it's just a bloody more onion head. powder. But oh no. Somebody has spilled 12 globs of food that aren't from the buffet. Can you find all the poorly hidden globs of extra food? Huh? Whatever this is, it... Congratulations! You found a sample of Chicago-style food. A five-inch thick blob of underbaked pizza crust with bratwurst oil dribbled all over it. Deli are these going in my pants? Hmm, I don't know where it's going. Congratulations! You found a sample of American Chinese food. Mugu Nuff said. Congratulations. You found a sample of good old American Midwest cuisine. Molten urinal cake. Congratulations. You found a sample of cozy Maine cuisine. Old chum. It's the most eclectic buffet I've ever seen in a video game. Congratulations. You found a sample of Northeastern cuisine. New England clam chunder. Congratulations, Chunder. you found a sample of American Southern cooking, roadkill in a dishwasher. Congratulations, you found a sample of the politically correct vegan's delight, locally discarded kimchi. Congratulations, you found a sample of Nolan's Fair, fried green lunch meat. This would be good on Let's Burn with Brigands. You don't need the hot sauce, Why at not? least not yet. Ooh. Congratulations! You found a sample of great traditional French food, creme brulee. Congratulations! You found a sample of nouvelle cuisine, deconstructed glop. Congratulations! You found a sample of lutefisk. Congratulations! You found a sample of modernist cuisine, toast-filled ravioli on buttermilk froth. Congratulations! You win the Leisure Suit Larry Disgusting Buffet Hidden Object Game. You get a bottle of hot sauce. That's all I've ever wanted. Yeah, Fun fact, that's how I got most of the hot sauces featured on Let's Burn. That'll do, pig. Alright. Well, I just cleaned up their buffet for them. Minus the fly problem they seem to have. You won't need any processed jicama fingers to complete this game. Just... Finally, a game where you don't need <laughs> processed jicama. Finally. Broccoli? You'd be sorry you touched this magnificent multicultural miscalculation. Don't bother it while... It's a bin of hearty, stick-to-your-teeth, steel-cut goat meal. It's just a head and the blood in the tray. Ooh. You wouldn't like it. It sticks to the roof. Not the roof of your mouth, just the roof. <laughs> all right, I got my hot sauce. It's all that matters. Have yourself a real good chanda. Always look like reference. Anyone go? I don't remember. Was this room in the? Uh... You score the tank of helium. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. What? Totally. Can't see what that's. Cabaret. Oh, okay. Cabaret, indeed, have... Larry. Can I like take a seat and someone's gonna come out? Your conversation. With a pretty face and a good story. Oh well. Wow. Hey. So I'm dedicating this song to a sly little guy. I like to call equity crowdfunding. <laughs> Love it. I don't know who wrote the music and lyrics for this song, but whoever they are, they're not getting paid nearly enough. She's gorgeous, and she sings like a filthy angel. What more could any man want? She smelled like tobacco and leather on a rainy night. Like something you want to hold close and never let go. I could tell she was going to be trouble, so I avoided her like the play, because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I love how that line ended. 
Well done, Bogey. <laughs> All right, we got plenty of money now. Let us head back to the bar. First things first, I wanna buy a round of Apple Man? Apples, apples. I'll take 2,000 apples, my good sir. What are you, hoarding apples? One to a customer. What kind of a salesman are you? Okay. It's a ta taxi. Glaukalash. Okay, guy, where'll it be? Back to lefties, my good man. Back to lefties. I don't know what the point of those are. And that'll be 22 bucks, Mac. Jump change, my man. Just got lucky. Very lucky. But not in the lucky that we want, so that's why we came back here. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and comment on this video, and click subscribe if you haven't already, as this seriously helps me to keep making great content for you.